Welcome to episode two of AAPW, The Buckle Bomb. We're here today with our guest, one of the best up-and-coming wrestlers in Texas so and weird. arguably the whole United <laughs> States right now. That's so weird to hear. And, and so <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, Caleb Cruz, with my co-host, Primo Campos, and we're going to be talking to Prince Adam today what it is. What it is. What it is. about up? everything going on in Don't the Don't do crack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do any kind of drugs. Don't do any. <laughs> That's my Our PSA for today. Our done. producer, Jay, gave us the very big uh, dad look. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do drugs. He said, what'd you say? I'm talking about not doing any drugs. <laughs> but Sorry, Dad. I'll be $200 now for my PSP <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Let's get into it. So, Adam, you said it, it's weird, like, hearing yourself being described as one of the biggest attractions for pro wrestling in Texas, but it's the truth. You're getting booked anywhere and everywhere now. How's that feel? That's so strange because I have no bookings coming up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, only because I told people no and the, everything going on right now. Uh, yeah, I don't... I just never really think about that, you know, like I, I'm sure you guys see me here, you know, I show up early, I do my workouts before and I just kill it, or at least try to kill it. Oh, yeah. Like today I wasn't really feeling good, not that I have corona or nothing, but like it just, you know, low energy, like not really, headspace is kind of messed up, but I really just try to like, you know, grind it out and uh, hopefully someone pays attention and sees and throws me a couple bones, you know what I mean? But yeah. I don't really think of that. And I only say that because you're like the fifth person. This is like the third or fourth podcast I've done in like a week. Oh. And they've said the same exact thing. And I'm like, who Who are you talking to? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Whose <laughs> matches are you watching? Because it's not mine. <laughs> but uh, on that note, though, you know, not feeling it every day. Like what what is pushing you to keep going, though, and keep, you know, appearing to the school and, you know, mm -hmm. working out, getting that workout in? I want to be the best. <laughs> that's really. I want to kill everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, I want really everybody's cool. lunch. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's. I don't know. Like the people I hang around with, they're never satisfied in their work ethic and where they're at in the card, so mm -hmm. to speak. Yeah. Or their place in the whole pro wrestling scene, not just in Texas but in the United States. So if I feel like one of my homeboys is just grinding it out harder, then I have to put that same amount. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of effort sure. in, if not more, right. you know? And not for nothing, like, a couple of my friends are kind of, like, goals. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I see them succeed in everything that they do. I want that, you know? Oh, yeah. Not that I'm, f like, following a blueprint, but I see their work ethic, and I compare it to my own, and I'm like, I am lacking. <laughs> you know, like, I need to wake up and be obsessed with this, like, yeah. every day. And who are some of those people that you're talking about? Because I know, like... Albert, ACH, mm -hmm. for one, would be one, and then mm -hmm. Ricky as well. But oh. are there any other examples of it? Well, hold on, brother. Let me just pick those names up off the floor that you just <laughs> dropped. There you go. <laughs> Big, massive names to put on the table here. I mean, those are really, like, Ricky, Ricky Starks, ACH, Christy Janes. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, the people that are, like, doing this for a living, you know, paying their bills with it are some of the most coolest, most inspira inspirational people I've had the, you know, good luck and fortune to meet and, you know, not for nothing, get pretty close to. So when I see that they're happy and they're doing what they love and they're obsessed with and mm -hmm. like success comes after that, it's very inspirational. Like who am I just to, you know, sleep in? to one o'clock yeah. when I know so-and-so's in the gym like killing it or so-and-so made it to the ring after like a however long flight and a, a days like a days after days of like filming yeah and then they come back to here and train and, you know it's like what am I doing still that goes back to it like I need to I need to be there and I know I can get there you know what I mean not for nothing they they would just bury me, <laughs> you know what I mean, to my face, not like behind my back or anything. They would just tell me to my face, hey, you're 
severely lacking. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you need to be honest with yourself. And that's just, I don't know, good friendship, I guess. Man, okay. Uh, earlier in that, you mentioned a blueprint. Do you feel like mm -hmm. there is some kind of blueprint that some up-and-coming wrestlers or new people who want to get into wrestling should follow? Ooh. Like a workout regimen? Yeah, well, meals, man, so, you know. I always tell people here when they ask me, um, and it, it, I call it out, too, when yeah. I see it, or at least when I try to see it. There isn't a one, two, three, ABC, mm -hmm. learn to be a pro wrestler. If that was the case, you know, somebody wrote, wrote a book, Yeah, you know, and that sure. would be the hottest selling book right now, <laughs> you know? I don't think that's the case. I think um, there's a couple of things that goes into it. And, of course, I've only been doing this three years. I've only been in the business three years. So, like, I have no idea, really. But yeah. from what I've seen. You got a semblance. Yeah. Like, yeah. from what I've seen, and especially the people that I know, like, can, like have achieved success. One is um, be obsessed. Yes. I mean, that goes without saying, right? Like, you have to be obsessed with whatever you're doing. If you're, if you're wanting to be, like, the best postman, you know what I mean? Or the best dishwasher somewhere. Yeah. Then be that. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So why would that change with pro wrestling? You know? Um, be obsessed. Second, be a good person. Okay. Um, and a lot of people, I know everything that's happened recently, that doesn't seem like the case. Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing that I've learned, like, and I've seen happen, wrestling karma is is real. It's real. It's so real. Whether that happens with, like, you either, like, unintentionally, like, hurting somebody. Like, that, like y'all see my black eye right yeah, now, yeah. right? So, that was a complete accident. 40 minutes later, the person that gave me this black eye got knocked out. That's a... Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Not to laugh about that. Yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not going to go karma. behind it. But you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, like, it's either instant karma like that or, like, karma that's been, like, building up. And it's, like, karma or the universe or God or whoever you believe in yeah. being, like, all right, I got you. Oof. Don't worry about it. I saw that. Yeah. You know? You're going to be like this. Yours is coming, you know? And yes. I think from what we've seen, especially on social media these past few months, yeah, that's n never been more truer, right? Have you not not to cut, no, not no to go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like speaking on that karma, like in terms of physical karma, has that happened to you a lot? Like I'm, I'm interested in that. Mm, I'm trying to think of like examples. I mean, not not really. No, um, there has been some where either like an errant punch or like an errant something. I'm yeah. like, man, I feel bad, but that's coming back to me. Yeah. Know. You know what I mean? And then it does, you know. Uh -huh. So. Yeah, I mean, I, when it happens, I usually know okay. it's because of that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know it, you know. And not for nothing, receipts are, you know, I've heard, given yeah. out. You know what I I've mean? I've heard some people talk about that. Yeah. You know. I remember one time in this match, this this cat uh, just, like, punted me in the ribs. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. <gasps> like oh, my God, right? Yeah, and then yeah. he throws me in and then just gives me, like, the stiffest, like, Senton splash. Oh Lord, he's trying to start a real fight. Yeah, and that was the first time where I was like, I really got like mad, and yeah. I had him in a corner, and then like I gave it back to him, <laughs> but I, like, I stopped myself, and I was okay. like, you know what, chill, it's get, fine, get it's wrestling, it's get wrestling, yeah, yeah, like it's stuff's gonna happen. Yeah, and I, and again, that goes back to like if someone goes in there and intentionally hurts somebody, then it's coming back. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, tenfold. Temple. But if it's accidents, you know, you're going to get it back. It's fine. It's just yeah. what we do, you well, know. And nothing in wrestling rarely ever goes to plan. Oh, of course not. So, Look at the scar on my head. That's just, <laughs> yeah, so what are some examples you have of just wrestling, like, not going to plan, like, oh, turning out man. crazy on you? I mean, like I said, the scar on my head is a big example of that. Uh, not to call the guy out, because, I mean, he's not even in the business anymore. But, you know, it's just someone has this idea of wrestling. Mm -hmm. And what it what it is, yeah. And they, I want. Uh, they're not they're not dumb and they're not hard headed. They're just ignorant. Ignorant. That's it's good. all learning. Yeah, you know, and it's all learning. You know, yep. and when stuff like this happens, you just really gotta one calm down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because you can't be shocked and you can't be freaking out because at the end of the day, there's another person in there with you. Yeah. Yep. And no matter what, it's like you know. It's like when a parent sees, like, their kid hurt. Like, you don't want them, you don't want the parent to be like, oh, my God, oh, my God, because they're going to get in shock. Yeah. Way, you know what sure. I mean? Um, 
so there's those examples and then there's also like examples where like like I said somebody just has no idea what they're doing and you can as much as you want to be as clear with them and be like are you sure are you sure about this and they're like yeah no problem uh-huh. and then they yeah then a lot of stuff Ooh, just happens yeah. in a match where you're just like oh you had no idea <laughs> you were just trying to say faith that's happened to me a, a lot of times and I'll, I mean not for nothing not to brag humble brag here mm-hmm. but uh guys that have been like 10 years in and they'd be like yeah man I was just trying to show out for you and I'm like I'm nobody <laughs> what show off bad. why show out for me man just tell me what you do I want to have a good match I don't you gotta feel good match. about that though right like, I mean low key yeah <laughs> low, I mean high right. key yeah humble brag you know what I'm saying but at the same time it's like be honest with yourself yeah honestly cause I, behind baseball here the minute you step through that curtain I found like if you f- are phony and you're just faking it everybody knows okay yeah. 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 everybody knows you know what I mean? You're self-conscious. You're in your head. Boo. You know what yeah, I mean? They're yeah. going to eat you alive. You know? And I've had those kinds of matches myself where I was on the receiving end of that yeah. very early on. And then I've ha- I've been on the other end of that where the guy I'm facing either with somebody in a tag or multi-man. And it's <laughs> whatever. They have no confidence. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're all in the same ring. We're all in the same locker room. Yeah. We all want to have a good match. So... Instead of trying to have that match, let's 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 put our pieces together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's not gonna be a a Van Gogh. Yeah. But yep. It could be a Pollock. You know what I mean? Like okay. we don't know, man. We don't know. I'm the canvas and the paintbrush. And art vibes here. That's okay. what I'm saying. Well, yeah. that's 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 what it is. It's one of the wrestling is art. Yeah. It's yeah. the f- purest art form, and a lot of people hate that. They hate that. Like, oh, it's not an art form. It's a sport. Man, man. I don't care. <laughs> Sports are art too. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, what's more poetic it's and what more artistic than Michael Jordan killing it every game and oh, yeah. being the best? Man, that's um, what he did on the court is artistic. Well, and think about it too. Like the LeBron mm. alley oop from Dwayne Wade. One of the like most well known mm-hmm. photos ever. The block That's shot. Art. The, the block, block shot. shot. Mm-hmm. LeBron Jordan went game winner. Right. All, all that stuff. That's art. Yeah. And that comes from sports. Sports are the biggest creator of art mm-hmm. that there are. And the same thing. Like you can't just I mean you can pick up a paintbrush and just, you know, whatever, right? Yeah. But as far as like the techniques and like the fine tuned things that make those great artists what they are, mm-hmm. it comes with practice and it comes with knowing your craft learning your craft being obsessed with your craft yeah and yeah i can mean i could talk all day about that kind of stuff man so, Bam. so uh you know you being an artist mm-hmm. you know akin to what we were just talking mm-hmm. about what is one overlooked thing in the ring that you feel like more people should you know put an eye on uh for wrestlers not, maybe not viewers like wrestlers what should they really be focusing on when they're in that ring basics basics okay basics fundamentals mm-hmm. the i mean i can't tell you how many people just lack the fundamentals and this is coming from uh not necessarily traveling um across the country because i'm not blessed with that yet okay but the places that i have been to um illinois okay uh tennessee minnesota canada you know what i mean those yeah. uh new orleans those those kinds of places uh and mingling with different kinds of locker rooms and different kinds of shows uh, for whatever reason the basics and fundamentals just get lost somewhere in there, yeah. you know? Do you what? feel like when people learn, like, the more advanced stuff, mm-hmm. they just tend to push aside it's those a gift. basics? It's yeah. a gift. And, not, and again, like, I'm only three years in, and I only have so much experience, so I don't want to talk like I've been there, done that. Yeah. But, I mean, really, that's what the business is now, you know? Our attention spans are so small. Oh, yeah. Now it's about, ooh, that move look cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's how you get booked, you know? And yeah. that gets shared, that goes viral, whatever. You got a couple bookings. Yeah. And you can't tell me different because the Walmart cats, shout out, oh. <laughs> got bookings before all of this thing went to crap, right? I forgot all about that. Oh, yeah. Fun fact, one of them trained here. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> yeah. Not for very long. Not for long, but, you know, <laughs> hey, man, he's grinding, doing his thing. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, I get you. Uh, and... My homeboy's in Detroit right now. Shout out Joe DeMero. Uh, and he says that's another thing that people just lack, you know? Yeah. They want to get onto the the bigger things and learn the cooler stuff, but you, know, you can't bump. Yeah. You can't hit the ropes right. You're gassed, you know what I mean? And it's just, 
when is that gonna click? You know what I mean? And I don't know. That's just my opinion, of course. And opinions are like assholes. Everybody got. Them, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, I think yeah, you could just drive that to anything. Uh, mm-hmm. Sorry to bring up the word society. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's. I mean, that's the way everything is now. Yeah. I feel it's just like, yo, what's on? What's trending on Twitter right now? What's number one? And right. then five seconds later, it's like, okay, let me go look on Instagram. Right. Okay, let me go look at Snapchat. Mm-hmm. So I guess in a way that's carried over. Dude, I'm me. the worst when it comes to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I really is like. You can ask Vert, oh. <laughs> especially at home. I'm just like, I got to do this. And then I'm over here doing something else. And then I realize 10 minutes later, oh, wait, I was doing this over oh here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the worst. That's so a that's, vicious cycle. It is, man. It is. And you can't have that when it comes to wrestling. Yeah. You got to be so disciplined and so focused. You know, That's why when I do speak out here in class with the kids, and it's just about being more disciplined. Yes, I see know? that too. Yeah, you I have to have it. You got to... Because, like, at the end of the day, my life is in that person's hands. True. And vice versa. Right? So why wouldn't we attack the fundamentals and get this good foundation going? Yeah. Um, and then worry about the other risky stuff yeah. later. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't... I'm going to learn a brain buster day too. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I want to learn how to be safe and protect yeah. somebody. That's know? the basis of life, man. Get the fundamentals down, then get on the the cool stuff. Yeah, I wish I could apply that to my life though, <laughs> and not just wrestling. <laughs> Don't eat the candy yeah. in the morning. Come on, yeah, come on. <laughs> Dinner before dessert, right? That's pretty. <sighs> Jesus, but like. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> <laughs> just... No, but what uh, what are some of those things that you really just focused on with the basics, like? Can you describe how long that process took you? It took one year. Would you say one. that's because you're a natural to it? Uh, <sighs> humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Alley Cat on the wall here. Yeah. And uh, shout out Allie. And I remember my first day she was there and she showed up. And we were doing the roles and she looked at George and she asked, where did he train? Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And I just, I've always kind of had like a natural like athletic background never trained to be an athlete you know what i mean yeah. i was an rtc which you know you kind of work out there yeah you know yeah. you kind of have to get in shape but they don't really press on it you know um so but for whatever reason like i always took to that like a fish out of water you know nice but okay. that doesn't go without saying that the bumps and like hitting the ropes and getting wind didn't suck because it did. I've been smoking yeah. since I was 13 years old, you know? Yeah. Ooh. I have asthma. You oh know? my God. Yeah. yeah so combo, dog. it's bad, man. You know, I was a punk kid <laughs> trying to be Billy Badass. And like, <laughs> you know, and it, it, it took a while, but it was one year of just doing something over and over and over and over again, stay until midnight. Mm. sleeping at the school you know i had a key back then so i would you know sleep at the school if i stay too late or like get there early in the morning and you know dedication yeah man you gotta like i said you gotta be obsessed you gotta be obsessed and you live for this like there i try to (laughs) again like it's like i i hate comparing myself to others but like me myself i kind of have to Otherwise, I do rest yeah. on my laurels, you know, and I'm like, I'm, I'm cool. I'm all right. Yeah. They call me the one of the my rising stars in Texas. I can live <laughs> with that. You know what I mean? But you can't. Yeah. Right. There's so much more out there than just Texas. Exactly. A lot of people. When I know like a guy like Ricky is watching wrestling every single day, every free minute he has, you know, not for nothing. He got a contract and that's what I want. You yeah. know what I mean? I want to pay my mama's bills with this. Yeah. And the only way I can do that is by... Still going back to the fundamentals and basics and doing that stuff over and over and over and over again, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, so what was your first match like, and how have you improved as a wrestler since oh then? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's kind of like the, the generic, like, reaction, right? Because everyone hates their first match. But honestly, I was blessed to, like, wrestle my friends. Um, shout out Cody Lane. Shout out Ethan Price. Okay. Um Shout out Mark Champion, who was my tag partner. We were the bad hombres. Bad hombres. Yeah. <laughs> that was like right when uh, the president said that stuff. And so we're like, you know, we're, we're the bad hombres, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, that's, a, that's a cool name. Though. It was like 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Your first match. For first my first match. match. Jeez. Like 25 minutes because Cody and Ethan just had this idea of stuff. And really, it was me memorizing a script, really. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just 
okay, I think I could do that. I think I could do that. I think, and I was like blown up within the first minute because I was just so nervous, you know. And I like it, I had fun. Did you go fun. over? <laughs> Did we go over? Oh man, I don't remember. That's I just re- yeah, I just remember. Um, you know, I think we did. If I'm not man, mistaken, first match. Yeah, over, but you know, it's the homies. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and I got cocky afterwards. I was like, yeah, I'm a good <laughs> wrestler. Yeah, I can do this. And then immediately, like next show, being humbled because the person I wrestled was just not good. Oh, <laughs> like at all. No offense to the. If he remembers the, I'm, I was in second match. Then I am oh, that, so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I am so sorry, but. You shot on me. <laughs> I will never forget that. Mm. I almost dropped his name because I'm mad <laughs> <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> um, Get on this podcast. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> We're talking out. Um, but uh, to harken back back to you being, you know, naturally athletic towards this, did you play like any sports? No. No, none. None. So you were just you were just none. naturally yeah, athletic. I was in like football for like a week or two in seventh grade, then I discovered other extracurricular <laughs> activities that are probably not you stay know in school kids. yeah stay in school kids <laughs> don't do yeah, drugs don't do drugs i found the name of uh, this episode wait till marriage <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah so, you know so like i i was just never i never had so you came for you it. just came into wrestling school and you're like all right here it goes yeah i mean wow. not really no. i mean because i graduated college first right okay. but like during college I had a really big, like, I just didn't, I went to college for acting. Uh Uh-huh. So, like, they gave me all these scripts, and I was in, like, a play, and, you know, I was, had all this stuff coming in for acting, but I just had no no passion for it, Hmm. like, at all. So, there was, like, this stage combat thing for school. Yeah. And I was like, oh, dope, this is like wrestling, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was, like, the only idiot in there doing, like, rock bottoms and, like, stone cold (laughs) stunners and, like throwing work punches what i thought were like work punches you know what i mean and not for nothing everyone like loved it really yeah and the guy like like had me help other people like almost like assistant direct stuff you know what i mean um so that's that's was like the hammer home like oh you need to be a pro wrestler yeah you know and that was like the third semester in (laughs) so yeah i was like "Uh, i let me just finish college let me just peace out guys yeah yeah but (laughs) like after i graduated um, I did like this six week CrossFit, you know, like Ooh, thing just that to, killer. yeah, it was, it was terrible. It was and yeah. the schedule was kind of like the school schedule. It was like Monday, Wednesday, Friday yeah, from like seven to 10 every day, you okay. know, or every, every other day. And, uh, I figured, Hey man, let me just get used to this schedule working out, you know, and then go immediately right into wrestling. So I kind of had like a good wind, but there's yeah. nothing like in ring cardio and in ring shape man you just got to do that you just got to do it so there, you don't think there's like any lift any workout regimen that can really get you ready for that ring probably like a steady regimen of jump rope yeah burpees uh and maybe like some crossfit stuff yeah really to have a good solid like okay i'm athletic yeah but I mean, I've seen CrossFit as- athletes come in here try to be pro wrestlers and they quit. Ooh! I've seen UFC fighters come in here. I've seen uh, football players, like national football players, come in here. Ooh. People from UT come in here and just quit. You know, that's you, crazy. Yeah, it's either they're blown up or they take their first bump and they're like, I can't, I can't do this, man. That first bump's like the real. That's like the real parameter. I mean, like I'm, I'm marked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I marked that. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm a wrestler. <laughs> Cherry pot, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so speaking just farther on that, since you started your career mm-hmm. three years ago, what have been some memorable moments? Ooh, man, that's a lot. <laughs> I, um, I, w- I wish I would have, like, attacked the bookings a lot harder. Yeah. But for whatever reason in my head, I just uh, was like, wait, just wait. Yeah, hmm. Quality stuff's going to come. Don't worry about it. You just keep working hard. Stuff's going to come. And I, that's kind of bad. And that isn't like the what everybody does. The prototypical way. Yeah, that's yeah. not the prototypical way at all. But with that being said, the, the shows that I have worked have been all memorable and all meaning something in their own way. But if I was to pick... Uh, 
Say top five. Top five? Oh, I can't really. Top five. Let me see. Off the top of my head. <laughs> five, Canada. Uh, being Ooh. there for like a week and having a couple shows up there with my boys. That was fun. We just partied every day. <laughs> Made it to the shows, wrestled, got paid. Partied and wrestled. Partied and wrestled, man. That's that's the lifestyle. Yeah, man. It was fun. <laughs> and it was with my homies, you know what yeah. I mean? So, like, we weren't doing crazy stuff. In but a safe way, kids. Yeah, yeah. We weren't doing crazy stuff. But it was like, all right, man, this is great. Now we go sleep, go work out, <laughs> go to the show, Yeah. go to a bar, hey, go man. to sleep, go work out, go to the show, <laughs> go to a bar, hit the road. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Or last night there, like, we, uh, we partied to, like, Three in the morning, and then we had a sixteen-hour drive to St. Louis. Dog, I'm 22, oh, and that sounds bro. Awesome. It was amazing. <laughs> it was <laughs> great. It was great, man. Okay, Canada five, four. Um, wrestling, my boys that inspire: Ricky Starks, Joe uh, DiMero, yeah. Mark Champion, and myself in a Fatal Four Way. That was dope. Uh, number three is probably wrestling again. Ricky Starks. And Joe Joe Bravo, who's Jazz, Jazzy J Serious now at Anarchy, which I think I've told you guys and the people that don't know, those two are really like instrumental in me becoming a wrestler, mm -hmm. and especially at that show. Yeah. So like that was like mind blowing for me at the time. Uh, two um, wrestling ACH at Anarchy at their biggest show. And talking about dropping names. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Well, let me pick those up. <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. wrestling that, man, wrestling my mentor and my friend uh, at that show means so much to me and will always hold a special place in my heart because it was like mm -hmm. a culmination of years work and like a journey in life, That's so art. to speak. And, and yeah, he man. went over in that match yeah, too. I, mean, like. I, I kicked his ass, man. <laughs> I beat his ass. You know what so <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> that match hurt. But, um, <laughs> and then number one, obviously, obviously is wrestling. Vert Vixen. Uh, one on Aww. one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, so we I, I'm really, okay, so like Loki, I'm really private about like relationship stuff. Yeah. And I always, I want her to be, she started way after me. So like I want her to be seen as like Vert Vixen, not yeah, Prince yeah. Adam's girlfriend, you know? But like, Having that match with her at the time, it was very much like, oh, I'm really proud of the, this one, you know, because yeah. it was fun. And behind baseball here, we had some stuff in the match that we had to, like, cut mm. just for time. And yeah, I was yeah. like, I, they, they cut our time, like, last second, so I kind of, like, panicked. So I was like, okay, we'll cut that, we'll cut that, we'll cut that. Athena was watching the match. Okay. If y'all don't know who Athena is, name drop. <laughs> <laughs> Amber Moon, WWE. You know? Yeah. And... Afterwards, she was backstage, and me and Vert went up to her, and we were like, what do you think about the match? And she's like, oh, I liked it, blah, blah, blah. She tells us, and she proceeds to tell us, I think you should have done this. I think you should have done that. <laughs> and I think it would have been cool if you would have done this. And it was everything we cut from oh, the match. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's heartbreaker. Exactly. Oh, and I looked, at, I looked at Vert, and I'm like, I knew like, it. Oh, but oh. she was, like, marking out. Like, yeah. She was like, we would have done that. And I'm like, I know, but it's okay. I, at least we know our instincts are good yeah. you know what i mean yeah. like our gut tells us what to do and i think that speaks volumes you know but having that match with her in front of a crowd and then obviously fake proposing I to was her. Gonna tell, I was she spoke on that last week <laughs> yeah. we talked to her last week she, what, she was super heated about that. what made you in that moment just like i'm, I'm gonna do wrestler. this i'm a pro wrestler man i had to get my heat back because <laughs> i mean she won yeah. She won. Okay. I slipped. Yeah. I slipped, man, and she she pinned me for the one, two, three, you know what I mean? And uh I was like, Okay, that's fine, I'll let you have this one, but let me get one more. <laughs> and I just remember her face, like, oh my god, I think she would have said yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I just gotta flip the bird and then take it on home, man. <laughs> Did you hear about that, that at all after the moment? Oh, she hated me. Yeah, she hated me. <laughs> she, she said she me. didn't on the podcast. No, that's why yeah. I got to ask you. No, <laughs> she hated me. Oh, my gosh. So, you, so, you know, it was like a, you know, you know how females are. You know, they just like, <laughs> oh, oh, I hate you. And I'm like, no, you don't. Nah, you're, no, you, you love don't. me. You girl. love me, girl. Yeah. Come on. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, God. man, the crowd ate that up, though. And that was first match. I was like, follow that. Did you get a photo of you like flipping her? Yeah, there is a photo oh, somewhere. Yeah, like, somewhere, I think someone released the clip. Like yeah. someone, there's like oh, it's okay. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. YouTube. <laughs> oh my good, did it. One of my favorite moments, man, so Dude, far in my young career. You know. Yeah. Speaking of Vert Vixen, we interviewed her last week. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone go check that podcast out. Where? Um, cheap plug. <laughs> cheap plug. On our own podcast, you dig? But uh, 
Speaking of her Vixen, how far do you feel like she's come in like the last, let's just say, year? Because she she really values your opinion. When she was talking about how you know you hear when you talk to her about yeah. like how good she is, like she really values it. So I just want to see where, where you see her at. That's crazy because I never tell her how good she is, <laughs> <laughs> like at all, <laughs> purposefully though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it's funny you say that because um, last time we were all here on Monday practicing, she was in the ring with somebody. And she kind of, like, had an impromptu, like, her own private little lesson with this person. Yeah. You know? And they were doing something. It was, like, a drill. Like, you know, whatever. But, like, I saw, like, the gear change. Yeah. And, like, I saw stuff starting to click in her head. And, like, for real, like, I almost teared up because I was like. Oh, man. I was like, man. Dude, she's starting to get it. You know? Yeah. And she comes from a background. She's never watched wrestling she, growing up. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, so. I, it's impressive because those people, those people, what do you mean? Those, <laughs> those kinds of people, those kinds of athletes that come into wrestling and never seen it before have an uphill battle. Yeah. Because they instinctually, they don't know what it is, you know? Um, and it's going to take them a while. And it usually takes them like years and like in ring work in front of crowds. Yeah. You know what I mean? on a regular basis to figure something out and she's getting she's starting to get that gear change it's things are starting to click for her during a pandemic yeah you know what i mean probably the most opportune time right now yeah Yeah. you know so i i mean every time i see her improve i mean i'm i'm proud yeah really that's good to hear and it's not just i mean i'm not I hate it when people call me like, oh, you're her trainer. Because I'm not. I don't train anybody. I really don't. You know, people, I, on this last podcast I was on, they uh, were like, how does it feel to train people? And I'm like, I don't train anybody. Yeah. I don't. Like, I just have, like, I regurgitate knowledge that, yeah. you know, my the people that I look up to tell me, you know. That's all I do. So for her to receive it and digest it and get it, man, it makes, come on. I can't even words can't even describe it. I can see it because too, man. yeah, because yeah. like, dude, people with years in the business don't get that because their ego mm-hmm. is so out of whack. And for her to come in and just eat, sleep, breathe it, and to like never been a lifelong plan, yeah. like, bro, it's wild. sky's the limit. Yeah, and then some. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's crazy. She's, it's crazy. she's really good, man. Oh like yeah, that's that. It must be fun to watch. It really is. It really is. But I, I mean, I'm always telling her like you got, you got to be the best. Yeah, honestly, not to call anybody out in Texas, but like, man, some people rest on their laurels, and we're coming after everybody. Mm-hmm. Not just me, not just Vert, but the people I roll with. You know yeah. what I mean? People like Chris Cruz, people like ASF. Mm-hmm. You know, Chris Cruz's brother Adrian. You know what I mean? Like everybody that's like that. Joe DeMaro, Detroit. You know, like we're coming, and our spots. Are gonna be solidified soon. Will all day. Yeah. Chandler Hopkins, not to name drop all these top people. Yeah. Moonshine Mantel. They've been here. They've been grinding. Mm-hmm. And I see a lot of people that've been soft during this pandemic. They don't work out. They gain some weight. Yeah. They don't love wrestling. I love wrestling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I love this business before I got in this business. I love this business when it was taken away from me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for y'all just to not grind out, man, get out our way. Get out our way, man. It's mentality you got to have. Exactly. So would get you say out our way. that the pandemic has helped you kind oh. of just grow that mindset? For sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. Because, like, I wasn't working. So what am I going to do? I can't, I can't put the excuse on, oh, I'm working. I'm tired. Yeah. I don't have that excuse no more. It's time to grind. It's time to either, yeah, nut up or shut up. You know what I mean? Or quit. Yeah. Yep. Because you don't have it in you. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are living with that mentality and they think that, you know, oh, I know so and so. I'm going to get booked. It's fine. No, man. Because you're going to come on after me and <laughs> they're not going to know your name, bro. Yeah. They're yeah. not. They're not. So. That's the way to live your life, too, man. You oh, yeah. Something. You got to sure. grind for it. Exactly. Exactly. I'm hungry, man. I'm starving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving, you know. People could put me over and everything, but I'm not happy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. So I want to really kind of go on. Uh, I want you to kind of go off on what what kind of ring style do you really base your 
ring style off of, I mm. guess. Is yeah. there, like, it doesn't have to be anyone specific. Is there someone you draw inspiration from, maybe outside of wrestling? Like, who knows? Video games, bring yeah, it up. Yeah, I, yeah. I really like video games. Yeah, and for sure. I really like video games. <laughs> um, man, if I was, if you describe my ring, in ring style, it's a midnight fist fight car crash. You know what I'm saying? Midnight like, it's like car crash. Bro, I'm just, I'm Mr. Fahrenheit. You know what I mean? I'm 200 degrees, baby. <laughs> I know, and it changes, man. It, honestly, it changes every time. I, I got to look at a match. If I'm stepping in a ring with you, mm -hmm. it's not going to be the same way if I'm stepping in the ring with him. Yeah. So I got to objectively look at it like, okay, what am I coming at? What angles? Am I coming from the left side? Am I coming from the right? Am I coming from underneath? Bam! Yeah. You don't even see the right hook. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And if that means I got to throw in my Lucha Libre background in there, mm -hmm. I'll throw it in there. Okay. But if I got a squabble, I, I'm squabbling. You know what I mean? That's just how it's going to happen. I may get my ass kicked, but, man, I'm beating you with the arm that you took. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like Straight scratch. <laughs> yeah, man. It's It really depends. I'm trained in uh, catch as catch can, lucha libre. I can I could take a hit. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't mind giving the bag either. So, I mean, depends on which Prince Adam you're going to get that day. And I don't I really like, like I don't really like to be held in a box either, man. You know, I like yeah. to, I prefer my stuff multiple choice. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're going to be in a, a ring with me, which one you want? You pick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're going to be wrong, though, because I'm the only one with the answer for that. Yeah, fill in the blank. Exactly. Dark. Exactly. <laughs> All the way like it's a test. It's right, man. So, so who are some of those people, uh, though, that have, like, you've looked up to, mm -hmm. looked towards as inspirations in the ring? Oof. I mean, the people I surround myself with. Ricky Starks, ACH. And don't let Ricky hear this. Know, pff, yeah. No, he don't. <laughs> he won't listen to this. <laughs> you know, those kinds of people, man, because it goes beyond wrestling for me. It, I see their grind and I see their struggle outside, you know? And I learn a lot as a man, you know, as a person. Yeah. Growing through those kinds of people, Christy James, you know what I mean? People that just love what they do and don't let the bull crap seep in at all. And they just grind it out. And they achieve and they manifest what they want, you know. Um, and then that goes for my, you know, people around me. But, like, I guess icons of wrestling. Eddie Guerrero, obviously. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's, uh, not to get too much into it, but someone that's battled addiction. Yep. Battle some hard times and to achieve that, man, I still tear up when he pins Brock yeah. one, two, three. I still tear up. I still get, ooh, getting goosebumps yeah. even thinking about it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's so like uh, people like that, man. I love people with the story and the struggle mm -hmm. because they come out on top, man. Every time, every time. I don't really like the the people that are too polished, had stuff handed to them. Yeah. Um, how can I trust you in the trenches at that point? You know what I mean? He never had to work for it. He never had to work for it. I like people that work for it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, next question, since I'm all about the styles right now. Word, word. Um, ring attire. Mm -hmm. Do you have a special kind of ring attire like mm -hmm. you, you want to get to in the future, or do you feel like you're where at, like you know where you want to be it's right now? It's coming together. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> it's coming together, okay. man. Because I, I used to be hella lazy. Because <laughs> I was like, man, Prince Adam, he's from 6th Street, and he just needs jeans and a shirt. You know what I mean? Dirty. Yeah. And now for nothing, people dug it, and I got bookings. You know yeah. what I mean? People it worked. Didn't, yeah, I, I like it. People didn't see me as like a trash bag dude or yeah. like a hardcore dude, you know? But at the same time, I, I have this idea of who I am yeah. and who I want to be. And I think I'm, the the more I spend money, <laughs> and the more I you know shed a few pounds, the yeah. more I see it coming into okay. fruition. You know okay. what I mean? So y'all y'all see on Friday, uh, APW official APW, APW on Twitch uh, <laughs> dot com uh, show APM <laughs> cheap plug. Uh, y'all see on uh, Friday. I got some stuff that's pretty you know yeah. it's more packaged together for what I want. You know, I like that. and. Uh, I, I think it's a good look, man. I, and if I'm feeling it, I have no doubt that people around me are going to feel it too. How how big do you feel like like ring attire and like you know entrance music? Does that does that play like a really big part? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Jeez. Like it goes back to feeling it, man. Yeah. I, I changed my I changed my song. You know what I mean? And that was a really heavy decision for me because that song I had my first time, Childish Gambino, uh, Crawl. Okay. 
like I felt it because I had to transform into that person you know what I mean yeah. so like the first 30 seconds is like somebody yelling and I just imagine somebody shedding their skin yeah, getting out like through that. it coming out for yeah. and I was in there bro right before I left the like went through the curtain when the beat dropped I was there I was Prince that's nice that, Prince. Get, that gave me yeah dude I'm saying goosebumps. cause I'm, I'm right that. there like I saw that I'm getting it you know what I mean I'm now Prince and now I can reach and touch people you know what I mean? I can influence people. I can do whatever. But, um, yeah, man, it's it's so much. And it's such a minute detail. Going back to that question you mm-hmm. asked earlier, yeah. people tend to overlook. You know what I mean? Oh, I got kick pads and biker shorts and you know, I got this cool hip-hop song yeah. or this cool, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Five Finger Death Punch song and <laughs> I got a Punisher t-shirt on. You know what I mean? I'm a badass. But you're not. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. Because you don't feel like one. You yeah. don't look like one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you need you need those things that, that get you to that place. You know? Because really the, what they say, like the most successful people in the business, it's themselves but turned up to 10. Yeah. Yep. That or, you know, it's something completely different like 180 Way left field yeah yeah you know what i mean but every little thing they have on them or what they come out to is memorable yeah and people connect to it you know what i'm saying so like it, right up until the pandemic happened like they would play my music and people pop and nice. that's that's okay. such a thing yeah. you know what i mean for me to like not think of myself highly all that often it's gotta be to hear that you know yeah. to hear people like oh, prince is coming you know, and then me come out, do the big Mexican walk, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's so important, man. So important. So before we wrap up here, we're going to hit you with a little thing we like to call the three count. It's going to be three minutes of rapid fire questions. So just give us the best answers you can as quickly as you can. (laughs) Oh God. Okay. So (laughs) Primo is going to go ahead and start us off and starting now. All right. Um, first of all, favorite wrestler right now, Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks. Okay, okay. You can touch on it a little bit more if you want to. Uh, this is dude's awesome. Dude's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Promo is great. Fantastic in ring work, man. Yeah. Selling's on point. Everything's on point. That's who I want to be, man. His facials are nice. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Favorite match ever. Eddie versus Brock. Eddie versus Brock. No way out. Two thousand four. Okay. A young Hispanic kid watching that, and dude, I could I can conquer the world. You yeah. know, I can do that. You know. Favorite female wrestler, not Vert Vixen. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Favorite female wrestler, not Vert Vixen. Asuka. Asuka, oh, she yeah. She is, oh, yeah. honestly, the best pro wrestler in the world. Today. Right now? I right will, now. The complete I will 100% package. agree with you on that. The complete package. Yeah. The best pro wrestler. Yeah? Yeah. Possibly one of the top five ever. I Legit. Can't, I can't argue with that. Yeah. That's real. All right, uh, let's see. Who has your favorite ring attire in the business right now? Not Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, man. Um, Darby Allen. Darby Allen? And that's, hey, that, that sounds like <laughs> left field because he's whatever. Traitor. But it goes back to what I was saying earlier. What, that stuff that he puts on, that image that he portrays. That's real. Yeah, and, you know, his makeup isn't like the – High God, quality yeah. effects, kind of. He puts it on himself. Yeah, but he takes him to that place. He keeps it. He keeps it real. It's authentic. Yeah. You can see it too. Exactly. Right? You can see exactly, it. Exactly, man. And then you, you catch him on the street. He's wearing the same shit. You know what I mean? It's like it's it just completes everything. And it's not the most flamboyant stuff because I think a close second. Again, this is one eighty contrast. Okada. Oh yeah, Okada, that's a good one. dude! Everything that guy wears is drip city, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's the <laughs> rainmaker because he's the rain makes the it rain, rain, dude. Yeah, he presents himself like exactly. This. So I would say my favorite right now, just because of who I am as a person, Darby Allen. But the, like a close second, Okada. Okada. Yeah, nice. Favorite Okada. current wrestling company? Ooh. Oh man. We should be limited to just who you like to watch right now. Yeah, I think so because yeah. I. What do you watch is, the most? WWE. WWE. I mean, yeah. I mean, I really. I mean, that's what. No I, reason I mean, not to. WWE, WCW. You yeah. know what I mean? 
Like, because I have the network, and I just, I dive into it, and I become obsessed with, like, everything that's there. That's everything. Cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, if I had to say what I'm watching the most right now is WWE slash WCW, ECW, those yeah. kinds of things. Um, my favorite promotion, though, is probably New Japan. I just, they're in ring. With New Japan. Dude, their in ring work yeah, is just a cut it's above the rest. It's totally different. Yes. But it's, again, it's that discipline that I love so much. Hey, Pr- Prince Adam, Los Singer Bonobles? Oh, Something like that? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Like I said, I, hopefully if they open up these borders soon. I'll be at the Fale Dojo. So, Ooh. yeah, that's coming up, man. So. That's a nice tidbit to leave it on, honestly. Lots of big things coming for Prince Hopefully, Adam. man. I got to get these borders open. And, you know, oh. we'll see, man. And I'll grind it out. But we'll definitely, definitely just trying to be the best I can be. You know, I'm yeah. in the ring with myself every day. Thank Love you for it. joining us today, man. Of course. Best of luck. And before we go, everybody uh, tune in to the official AAPW Twitch page. Our first show back will be August 21st. We will be streaming starting at 8 p.m. Tune in, watch, let us know what you think, and we will be back here next week. Peace. Thank you, boys.